Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Libraries are collections of folders that contain files of a selected type. The libraries you receive by default in Windows 8.1 are documents, music, pictures, and videos. To view your libraries in Windows 8.1, expand the Favorites section within the left pane of the File Explorer window if needed. Then click the Desktop within the left pane of the File Explorer window. Then double-click the Libraries folder that appears in the right pane of the File Explorer window to view the libraries in your computer in the right pane of the File Explorer window. These libraries contain different folders you commonly use to save files of that type within your computer. That way, you can simply open the associated library folder to view all of the subfolders and files within all of the folders associated with that library. You can add other folders to these libraries to be able to search and back up the files within them by using Windows. Note that subfolders contained within existing library folders are already considered part of the library, so you will not need to add those to the definition of the library. However, you can add other folders in your computer to the libraries if needed and perform other library management tasks using File Explorer. You can add a folder within your computer's hard drive a USB drive or a connected network folder to your library as long as the folder is capable of being indexed and the device, if external, is connected to your computer. You cannot add a folder within a CD or DVD drive or any network attached storage drives to a library. You also cannot add individual files to a library, only folders. To add a folder to a library, navigate to the folder that you want to add to the library using File Explorer until you can see the folder displayed in the right pane. Then right-click the folder to add to the library and roll over the Include in Library command in the pop-up menu that appears. Then click the name of the library to which you want to add the selected folder within the side menu that appears. You can also manage your libraries to remove folders from libraries and set their default folder into which you will save items for each library. To manage your libraries in Windows 8.1, display the libraries in your computer in the right pane of the File Explorer window. You can then click the library that you want to manage in the right pane of the File Explorer window to select it. When you select a library, you will see a new Library Tools contextual tab appear within the ribbon. Click this tab to view the library management options that you have. You can click the Manage Library button that appears in the Manage button group on the Library Tools contextual tab in the ribbon to open the Library Locations dialog box. This dialog box shows the names of all of the folders that have been added to the selected library. You can remove a folder that you have added to a library by clicking its name within this list, and then clicking the Remove button to the right. You can also add folders to this selected library by clicking the Add button to the right to open an Include Folder dialog box that will allow you to navigate to the folder to include. You would then click it to select it within this dialog box, and then click the Include Folder button to add that folder to the library. Also, within each library, you will see one folder that is marked as the Public Save Location, and one that is marked as the Default Save Location. They may even be the same folder. The folder marked as the default save location is where your computer will default to saving items of that library type when logged in using your current account. The folder marked as the public save location is where items of that library type will default to being saved when someone is logged in 
using a guest account. You can set which folder is the default save and which is the public save within this dialog box. To do this, simply right-click the folder that you want to set as a default save location for either choice, and then select either the Set as Default Save Location or Set as Public Save Location commands in the pop-up menu that appears. You can repeat this process if you wish to set a single folder as the default for both if it is the default for neither. Note that these commands will not appear if you right-click a folder that is already set as a default, as you must have a default folder specified for both settings. Now once you have finished managing your library, click the OK button at the bottom of the Library Locations dialog box to apply your changes. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.